Yes, yes, Master and Crew back once again with another video. And today I'm just going to let you know a couple of bits that's been happening. You know how we go. Um, it's mad, man. Like, I've been working the last two days on my Akai. Uh, I basically got one of these OLED screens and figured, okay, well, I'm going to try and use an OLED screen on my Akai because I want to. to basically be able to see all the names of the floppies at archive but for some strange reason uh, this doesn't seem to want to work with this no matter what I do I've tried changing the jumpers uh, I've tried it pretty much just about everything I don't know if there's a config file that I'm missing for this to work it does actually see um, the disk names and stuff which is pretty cool however um, it's like the Akai can't read it. As soon as I, it doesn't read any of the floppies off of here. As soon as I put it in there, happy days, it's all sweet. I've tried matching the jumpers up, same inside, but this one has something on there called Flash Floppy, whereas I don't know if this one has it because it doesn't have a display. So it's a bit mad, people. Um, I also tried this, which is a box standard, uh, one of these Gotex, but this one is sort of configured, I think, for one of my sewing machines. So I want to mean broadery machine. So that that had no cho um, no chance either. So I'm experimenting, peeps. I need to find something that will show me the disc name on here. That's the ultimate goal: is to get an HXC uh, that will show me the disc name. Now I'm wondering if this one works with the Akai S950 because on uh, the websites it doesn't mention the S3000. Now, so I'm wondering if like the Akai S3950 um, has a different file format to the S3000 because my disk drive on here is, is now pretty much kaput. I've been putting some old retro disks in here recently and they've been making some hardcore buzzing noises. And you know what, peeps? I've come to the conclusion uh, that I basically think that it's a better idea to just uh, use Omniflop and uh, get all my disks onto image first and then... Uh, extract them, put them straight onto um, USB and then use them in my HXC. I've got one HXC working perfectly at the moment, um, but you know, obviously we're always trying to improve and also for the love of experimentation. I do like to find out things for the truth of knowledge out there. I want you guys to know, you know, what's what with all your equipment, you know, people are getting into the Akai's and the hardware samplers and we're pimping them up. And you know, for what it's worth, I do want to, uh, you know, expose all the storage options out there. I know there's an SD card version as well uh, and I'd like to see if that works because I've got a cool display on it uh, but I think they're they're in excess of about 80 odd quid and I've seen people using them with the s952 so I'm in two minds as well I don't know if I want to put the OLED in here if it does work but trust me yesterday I spent three hours trying to get this thing going man and it's just not having it I do know I probably got that scuzzy fuse error on here that people keep talking about but it's weird it's, it's like as soon as I flip in you know turn on my Akai um, it, it's fine um, on this one um, it's just as soon as I put that OLED uh, display on there there's a guy on eBay that sells OLEDs uh, for eight pounds plus some instructions how to use them might get one of them and see if I can sort of hack into this pop an OLED on this one I don't know you know, I'm going to get onto a few bods that I've bought the bits and pieces off. Maybe this will, you know, maybe this is not actually working properly. Maybe there's something wrong with this. And uh, lo and behold, sod's law, I've only gone and lost the flipping USB um, stick that this came with. So, ah. anyway, heads up, uh, Shane uh, at Final Tweak. Is, has now recut the masters. He's, he's cutting them to, as we speak, I believe, and he's we're going to get those sent over to Diamond, and hopefully they're going to sort out some TPs for the Twisted Mentals. We're going to get that over uh, and get this thing going, man. It just feels like it's a big hold up right now, and it's just like every week that goes by, it's just doing me doing me head in to the point where you know I, I, I you know I'm not an impatient guy, so uh, you know I don't want to get like upset with people, but you know obviously as long as this thing's resolved fairly quickly, everything's should be cool and back on track people yeah so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed everything take care god bless I'm